best way to reconnect the House of Lords to the people is make it a, a democracy and elect the people who sit in it. An appointed chamber of hereditary peers reeks of hierarchy for me and I don't like it. I've lived between London and Bristol and when you're in London um, you do seem to be quite in like a bubble and maybe forget that life does exist outside of London. Um, so I do think there needs to be a bit more connection between the nation. Just get rid of it entirely. Yeah. Why do you say that? What's the point of it really? Um, each government that's in fills it with its own uh, political allies should be elected. I think it doesn't change anything really, it's, it's tokenism really and it probably will end up um, be, being extremely expensive to the country because you probably find that um, an awful lot of the Lords are based in the southeast of England and uh, I don't mind them being forced to travel but uh, it just strikes me as, as I said, tokenism. It doesn't really change um, you know, where the power is in the country, which is in the southeast. I think that'd be fantastic. I think too many things are London-centric and um, Birmingham being at the centre of the country, um, you know, it's the right place in terms of connections for people to come to and make their new base. I don't think it's a very practical idea. I've just listened to the radio this morning and somebody said a lot of the activity is not in the House but in the corridors yeah. between the House of Lords and the House of Commons. And so by separating them, I think you're just going to increase the costs of running it and it won't be as efficient. Bring the North and the South closer together through better infrastructure, through better employment, through reskilling. Those are better ways than this kind of token posturing.